I'm Kurt with How Rescue Systems. We're located in Kettering, Ohio. You may know us as a master distributor for Genesis Rescue Tools, but we are also a full channel partner with Dreger. Let's take a look at the PSS 7000 SCBA that Dreger offers. Number one, take a look at this back frame. This is the only dynamic adjustable back frame currently available on the market. Let's see why this is so firefighter friendly and comfortable to wear. Number one, the lower lumbar support is free floating. It operates up and down, side to side, forward to backward. Also, this is adjustable to each individual firefighter's height by just very simply adjusting the shoulder straps. There's level one, level two, and level three. This is going to add comfort, giving you the ability to stay in the fight longer. Okay, now we're gonna talk about a couple of different cylinder configurations that are available for the PSS 7000, as well as how we contain that cylinder into the back frame. First of all, the cylinders are available in 2216 or 4500 PSI. They're available with a standard CGA fitting or our quick change adapter on board. They're available in 30, 45, and 60 minute durations, as well as a clear coat, a blue color, custom logos, as well as 13 different high-vis colors that will give your department a little bit more individuality on the fire scene. Something else that you can consider is ask your local representative about the new Luxfer carbon wrap cylinder. That's gonna save you two pounds less weight on a comparable 45 minute cylinder. Let's take a look at how this cylinder is contained into the back frame. I'm just gonna very simply reach down here at the quick change, turn it clockwise, turn it down, lift the cylinder out, and then to reinstall the cylinder, just like so, bring it up, lift it up, insert, and across. Now I'm already, I've very quickly been able to install that cylinder. Also available is a quick change adapter for your existing cascade system that is very easily installed into your existing cascade system. Goes on just like so. You can take a look, this is a very, very low profile adapter, gonna give you the ability to fit it into a lot of boom boxes that are already currently in service. And there I go, I'm already filling air. To take that off, there we go. And that is the 40 inch Buddy Breather hose. And FPA actually, in FPA 2018 actually chose the Dreger couplings for the coupling of choice throughout every single manufacturer. To connect these, we can connect to these under pressure. We can connect them either way also, just like so. The nice thing about the Dreger Buddy Breather hose is we can actually, if we've got a firefighter in a mayday situation and he's entrapped by say the lower cord of a, uh, of a roof truss holding the back frame in, we could strip that firefighter out of the SCBA back frame leave that back frame inside and very simply hook right into his LDV, just like that. Okay, let's talk about the electronics on the PSS 7000. Naturally, we have to have an energy source to drive all of these electronics on today's modern SCBA. So what Dreger has chosen to do is they have uh, chosen the Duracell Procell AAA battery, the Duracell Procell AA battery, and the Panasonic CR123A to power this entire SCBA. Right there, that's gonna drive the entire SCBA for 12 months. One year, Dreger has done a great deal of in-house testing and evaluation, and they have operated this unit at one hour per day for 365 days in a row without replacing batteries. Here's our battery pack in the back frame. This serves to drive most of the unit, but we've also got a little bit of a backup. If for some reason the main battery pack is ignored with a low battery warning, 
The CR123 insurance policy, as I call it, is going to drive the most important portion of this SCBA, the heads-up display. That's very important. Also something to keep in mind is your overall cost of ownership as a fire department is very, very important. So this is going to cost you about $6 per year. The overall cost of ownership for your entire fleet for 15 years will honestly be less than your initial investment for our competitors' rechargeable batteries and rechargeable battery chargers. That's okay, cool. let's talk about another feature on the PSS 7000, and that is the Sentinel. The Sentinel is going to give me a great deal of very important information, and it's going to hang over the left side of my front chest shoulder strap. Number one, it's going to give me my cylinder pressure, in this case, 4190. But that bottom number is also very important for me as an operator inside of that fire. It's going to give me, in this particular case, it reads 28. And that 28 is going to tell me that based on my respirations per minute, I have 28 minutes until my end of service alarm activates. The Sentinel also serves as a pass alarm. And you can see on each side of the Sentinel, there are two sound ports. The sound for my pass alarm when it is activated is going to exit out both of these sound ports. If you take a look at the back frame, there are an additional two sounders on the back frame. So now I've got three total sounders. This one is going to amplify sound front to back. This one is going to amplify sound top to bottom. So in reality, through those three sounders, I've got six sound ports amplifying my pass alarm when it is in panic mode through six different sound ports, 180 degrees coverage. Okay, let's talk about a couple of the different face piece options that are available for the PSS 7000 SCBA. The FPS 7000 face pieces are available in three separate different configurations. Number one, small, medium, and large, naturally. But let's talk about the different configurations. This is the standard face piece, no voice amplification at all, yet this still meets NFPA standards for voice amplification even without any electronic assistance. Number two is the COM 5000. This is going to offer you dual speakers on each side of the face piece, amplifying your voice out both sides of the face piece. And then number three is the 7000, the COM 7000 face piece. This will offer the same dual speaker voice amplification as the COM 5, yet this also integrates a couple of earbuds as well as an integrated 900 megahertz portable radio. So this is going to allow this face piece to talk to other face pieces, freeing up that radio traffic on the fire ground. Okay, let's talk about another option that is available for the Drigger face piece, and that is the spectacle kit shown on the standard face piece here. So very simply, you would put your prescription lenses into the spectacle kit, the spectacle kit is very easily installed into the face piece, and now you've got your prescription lenses inside of the face piece when you need them. Let's talk about this LDV, the lung demand valve, the second stage regulator. Very, very easily removed, two fingers. Very easily installed. The really important thing about this LDV on the Dreger unit is it is very easily installed in any position. I'm not worried about lining up grooves or anything. So under stress and duress, I can put that in in any position. And it also moves around 360 degrees. And the hose also moves around 360 degrees. Very, very easy second stage regulator to dock and install. Okay, let's talk about cleaning and decontaminating the Dreger face piece. As you can see, I have removed the head harness and the neck strap, and I could throw those into a sink with some soapy water, or I could actually throw those into my gear extractor, but I could also leave those completely attached to the face piece. Now before we dunk this into our cleaning solution and into our clean water, remember we've got some electronics on here. We've got AAA batteries, we've got CR123A batteries, we've got a heads-up display, we've got voice amplifiers, and a microphone. Should we disassemble that? No need to with the Dreger face piece. So I'm just going to very simply 
submerge this face piece into my cleaning solution. Drain the excess water out. Go into my clean water rinse or rinse it under the sink in some clean running water and just very simply let that water drain out. Okay, so we have completed the wash cycle. We've dunked our face piece into our cleaning solution. We can let that soak if we need to. We pulled it out. We dropped it into the clean water or we can run this under running water back at the firehouse. I've taken a couple of soft terry cloth towels, dried the face piece off. Now I've got a hose and I can run this through two separate locations of the SCBA where I connect my LDV or where I connect my buddy breather hose because that's 40 inches and I've got a little bit more length than this. I can gate that down and it's only going to come out at less than 140 PSI. It's very, very important that we use our clean tested breathing air for this process. We're not going to use the compressor at the back of the firehouse. So I'm attached into my buddy breather hose. I've got a gated valve here and I'm just going to blow. Some of the res residual water out of that face piece, run it over uh, under a clean terry cloth towel again, reassemble, and that's going to help me get my unit back in service much, much quicker. Okay, so that concludes our video presentation of the PSS 7000 SCBA. Feel free to reach out to our corporate office in Kettering, Ohio, or our other office in Charleroi, Pennsylvania. Make contact with the office or your local representative. We'd love to come out and spend an afternoon or an evening with you presenting the PSS 7000 SCBA. Remember, Howe Rescue Systems is a fully authorized channel partner with Dreger. We can provide service, sales, and training, all three very important components for the SCBA.